Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. And guys, we're diving into how I do my hair. Now this is something that is completely random. I typically don't touch on videos like this on my channel, but I have had so many requests for my day-to-day -day hair tutorial that I'm like, okay, we have to do it. And I'm gonna get my hair cut here in the next month, so it might change a little. And so I figured before that comes and I have to learn how to like restyle my life, I thought I would show you guys at my current length what products I use and just how I go through and make it nice and big, voluminous, bouncy, and very happy. So that's what we're going to dive into. Now I'm not exactly sure on the logistics of this next part, but I might have to kill one of these lights in order to do the first step, but then I can plug it in. So if it gets dark here in the beginning for a second, I apologize, but I just have like only so many outlets and I have literally four lights pointing at me and like one of them just has to get sacrificed for the good of this wet hair. So we're going to dive into that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wigwam down and we're just going to look at it. It's a vision. <laughs> you guys, this is my hair. It is completely unattended to, unbrushed, unloved, uncared for. This is her. <laughs> also, my eyes are watering. Um, the most ridiculous in the entire world. I don't know what is happening. Both eyes are just water working themselves. So if you see me touching my eyes or look like I'm crying or take this toilet paper here and just like relentlessly touch my face, I apologize, but literally I'm, I'm confident my eyeballs are just gonna fall out. So let's go ahead and get started with some products that I love to put in my hair prior to styling. I am all about preventative treatment. I am all about infusing hydration and oil and making sure that my hair is not only nourished but also protected through this whole process because I do have very fine hair, but I have a lot of it, so it's a lot more prone to damage and breaking. Plus, with all of my medical issues and things like that, I do run into a ton of issues um, with it just spontaneously like falling out and breaking off that has no relation to heat styling. So if that is you, I got you, boo. I have a ton of products here that I am obsessed with. Now, the first thing I love to go in with is my Brio Geo. This is the Rosarco Milk uh, Spray Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I don't overdo this because I am going to be layering in quite a few products, and so... I don't want to make my hair super duper heavy, but I either go in with this in the morning or I go in with my Redken Anti-Snap, which I've talked about a ton. I use the entire Anti-Snap line. It is so, so good if your hair is very damaged or like prone to being pulled on and then snapping off. It is so good for that. So I either put in this or that, but I try to alternate between the two. Now after that, I go in with some of this, which this is so, 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 so good. I love it because it's like two products in one. It goes in as an invisible oil. It is so lightweight and so nourishing for the hair but it's also a protectant for your heat tools which is just amazing because as you know if you have thinner hair you don't want to have to go in and keep layering products and I just love not only that this one can do two things but I love the spray on it it covers and coats my hair so perfectly and I feel like every little piece of my hair is protected oh and it smells good now, one of the other things that I really, really love about that Bumble and Bumble is how nice and light it is on the hair. Like, again, I have very thin hair. It's very susceptible to pulling down and being just very weighted very easily. And I used to go in and swear by this Tresemme one right here, the Thermal Creations. If you are looking for a very affordable, good heat protectant, this is a great option. I don't use that one anymore just because I fell in love with this guy. However, it is a very, very good option. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. Oh my God, I got a headache. Okay, so now we've went ahead, we let that sit for just a second. I like to let it kind of soak into the hair follicles, get everything good and coated, and then we're ready to go in with one of my favorite freaking hairstyling products of all time. And that is this guy. Oh my good word, you guys. This is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. And I know it looks a lot. It looks kind of like an ancient torture device. You look like you're about ready to just like get in there and get after it. And I'm telling you, this dries my hair better than like my high-end Paul Mitchell hair dryer ever could have dreamed. Because what it does is it grabs your hair and it actually actually swirls it around this barrel right here. So as you're pulling it, it acts as a round brush and a hair dryer in one, which is brilliant, by the way. But more than that, it even smooths the hair and just makes everything so much more tame. It makes my hair look so silky and shiny and just like, huh. I love it literally so much. Now I do have to go through and brush my hair real quick, which normally I would have a wet brush. A wet brush is what I recommend. It's what I swear by. It's what I live by. However, I cannot find my wet brush. So I have to go in with my old style con air brush here which is uh, full of hair and gross so try not to pay attention but I did go in and previously comb through my hair with an actual wide tooth comb so it's not bad but if you do have um, more brittle prone or breakage prone hair or hell any hair in general I just think a wet brush is the most superior brush in the world I have two of them and I have now managed to lose both but I do have them I love them I highly recommend them and then I like to just kind of go through here I'll break it apart make sure everything is good and fluid 
And then I'll take just a hair clip here and I very lightly section off my hair. And when I tell you guys at the beginning of this video, like, guys, this is the easiest routine. I don't do much of anything. I'm not exaggerating. I, when it comes to doing my hair, I don't get fancy. I make it look nice, but I do it as quick as possible. And that's all that matters. So just be ready for like easy and peasy and lemon squeezy because your girl is not that particular about her hair. Now at this point, it is good and sectioned. I have just a little bit. I'm about half up, half down. I would turn around and show you guys but like then my camera's gonna go all out of focus number one number two if at any point during the rest of this video it does go in and out of focus I apologize I cannot see the viewfinder without my glasses and if I put my glasses on all we're gonna get is a ton of glare and it's gonna wreck the color so I don't have much of a choice at the moment but we're just gonna bear with it and hope everything goes well so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna turn this on now it does have three settings it has cool low and high which you can use this in a couple of different ways obviously you can crank it to high blow dry your hair call it a day if you're concerned about the high setting obviously there is a low which is a great option because this can get a little bit warm when it's up here near the top base of your head um, so sometimes if it's too much I will kick it to low but you can also kick it over to cool while you're drying it and lock like the curl or that little hoop de lura you end up with at the end which you'll see but you can lock that in if this is your only step that you're taking for curling now because I don't take this as my only step typically I do go in with my flat iron which we'll be doing today um, I don't have to kick it over to cool but you know it is an option if that's what you're doing if you're like hey one stop and maybe your hair is a little longer than mine and you just want like a really nice swoop to it this is great for that you can take it to the cool setting lock it in and you're good to go so let me go ahead and plug this in now I'm not sure if we're gonna lose a light here so let's pray ho oh, ho guess who found an outlet <laughs> so I'm gonna kick her to high and we're just gonna go to town and I'm gonna speed this up and play some music cuz y'all don't need to be listening to this business all day Okay, so at this point we are here and I have to be honest, I do wear my hair like this also quite often because I just love the way that it kind of brings everything in and down. And if that is something I plan to do, I work with that a little bit more and I really work on kind of shaping the ends and giving it that kind of twist action that you guys saw. Um, and it does just kind of help bring my hair in and frame it around the face. Now, if you have longer hair than me, it's definitely worth taking the time. And I also wanna mention that that tool is only a $60 tool, which I know can be a little bit expensive if you consider all the different like drugstore options but for what it does and how beautiful it makes the hair look and feel like my hair has never been more silky and more smooth after I am done blow drying it as it is with that tool a lot of times because my hair is so fine it gets super tangled and snarled and it'll blow all over and it really just has a tendency to want to fry and blow my ends of my hair out and that just goes in and makes everything so nice and smooth and if you do like I said take the time to work with it and really bring it down around your face you can get a beautiful swooped look I don't spend the time doing that because again on days like today where I'm going in with my flat iron it just isn't worth the extra time but it can be and it works beautiful so now we're gonna dive in with one of my favorite not one of my favorite hair oil of all time this is the way classic hair oil right here I am obsessed with this stuff now I because I do have very light thin hair like I've said 15 times I only go in with like one maybe two pumps one and a half pumps a tiny tiny amount like can you guys even see that? I Very little. I work it onto the hands, in between the fingers, and then I mainly focus this, of course, at the bottom because I am more prone to oily scalpage. And I just like to go in here and really work it through the ends before I go in with my straightener. And that hair oil is just so light and so airy and it smells so good. Oh my god, I love it. All right, so at this point, we're doing it again. We are grabbing our hair, except this time we're gonna grab a little bit lower and leave only our little tail ends right here out because we're gonna start the process of going through and curling everything under. Now to do that, I go in with my Chi Elite. This does have tourmaline plates. There are three different types of plates. You have ceramic tourmaline and then the titanium. And tourmaline is kind of that nice medium grade where it is ceramic and the titanium mixed together or plated. And for that reason, I really like this. I feel like it's a good balance. I got this at Sally's um, for Black Friday. It was way, way, way on sale. But I'm just going to take this and start 
folding these ends down and onto themselves. And for this step, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it's just nicely swooped under. You guys can see it's not anything crazy. I'm not like, oh, I need it to be perfect. I need it to be amazing. I need blah, blah, blah. No, I just want it to have a nice swoop. I just don't want it to be sticking straight out like electrical socket, which is what my hair tends to want to do, especially these hairs on the underside, like all this layer, this whole ring right here also. Everything wants to just stick straight out, and it's like, no, girl. We are not on the cover of Vogue editorial over here, like, having people style us. That look is not in when you're just sitting in the office. You look crazy, and so we're trying to correct that and just go in and do this. Now, again, I just grab large sections and run it through. Nothing exciting. And then I actually just go ahead and layer down my hair and do the same thing over and over and over again. And it only takes me a pass or two on each section because, again, I'm not that particular about this step. I just go through, do that a little bit. Nothing fun, nothing crazy. And as far as what heat I am on, I want to say I'm sitting at about 350, 360, which for my um, type of hair is better. It's nice to go on a lower heat when you have damaged, brittle, prone to brittleness hair, which is what I have. So now we're just going to go ahead and we pull it down. We move into the next couple of layers and we just repeat that process. So let's speak it up. Okay, so now that this is where we're at with the hair, you can wear it like this. It's just a basic dome shape. A lot of times I'll tuck it behind and go about my day and nobody has to be the wiser, maybe throw in some texturizing spray. However, that is not fun, nor freshy, nor funky enough for today's video, my friend. So I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of pizzazzle it up, give myself a little extra fun. So to start this section off, the thing that I wanna remind you is that when it comes to hair, your girl is so lazy and I like to not do anything unless I have to. So again, this is a nice base. This is where I start. On a day where I'm like, mm, do I care? Not so much. I will not go through and curl every single piece of my whole head. No. Ain't nobody got time for that business. If I want just a little extra, a little foof, then I'll do this next step. However, if you do like a more uniform look, if you prefer an every hair is curled situation, I totally understand that you can go through and do this to every single section and you'll be good to go. Um, that's just not me on the day to day. It is something that's beautiful. I love the way it looks. It makes your hair nice and voluminous and just fat fabulous, but it ain't for me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I like to just grab at random on the top of my head up here. And the idea is just to create some extra texture, some extra uh, curls, some extra definition that kind of breaks up the monotony that is this overall shape we have going. And just by adding in different textures or different movements to the hair, it just makes it look not only more full, but it also gives it a more fun, playful look, which is what I love. So I like to take my flat iron here. And this isn't anything revolutionary. Evolutionary, this whole curling with the wand situation, but I just take a bender up over the flat iron and I pull it down and it gives you just this ever so nicely little curl which I take and I twist with my finger and I pull it over here and she sits and cools off and hopefully stays somewhat curly. Now I always do the first couple of pieces this way because I like them to be framed away from my face. However, after those are fun, you can get a little bit more funky and you can grab a section. Da -da -da, let's just grab this guy. Again, I'm not super picky. I'm not particular at all. And you can take it, you can go forward, you can take it backward, which is what we just did to frame it away from the face. You can take and do little zigzags and give it a little bit more texture that way. Um, I will take like one back here a lot of times and I will shape it forward, which just means pulling the flat iron in the opposite direction which makes the curl go in the opposite direction. Take it, twist it, set it aside. This is all it is. And you can do this for as little or as much of the hair as you want. I typically don't overdo it because then it'll look like I missed hair on the bottom half. So you don't want to set the precedent too high. You just want to ever so lightly go in, maybe curl just the bottoms like that on a couple of them. Just enough to give you, again, see that little swoop, that little texture, that little moment. 
keep going. I'm going to do this one. I think I want to do this one front ways. Never mind. I guess I'm doing it backwards. Okay. Sometimes I also forget which way is left and right. You know, it happens to the best of us. It's early. It's morning. We're not always at the top of our game. Look at my face. Hello. <laughs> then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to pull her forward and you can see that I cranked it to the front. And then I'm curling it, setting it up to the side. Now, at this point, you can kind of look, you can decide, do I want more texture right here? But before you make that decision, let's flip these over and just see what kind of scoopage we have going on. Some nice, fun, flirty moments. Now, one thing I will say is that when you go through and you add in these light curls, this little right here that you have kind of swooping down, way too stark for me to like. I'll actually grab this chunk right here and I will curl it back just so it matches the front of the face. Because you guys, the front of the face, this is the money shot. This is what people are seeing. They're not, they're, they don't care what they see right here. Oh no, this is money. This is what we're looking at. So I like to take, and from that perspective, I will grab this little chunk of hair, which for me, for some reason, this chunk of hair is thicker than like all my other chunks. I wish I knew. But we're just going to grab it and section it off, thin it out with my fingers, doo -doo -doo, and just get it nice and flat. And then I'm going to grab my straightener, and I'm going to hoop de loo rah right in the upward direction, bam, and just give it a kink little curl upward. And then just so everything matches a little bit better, I will go in and hit a couple of these curls around the entire head, just because I don't want it to look like I only did the front. Like, technically, did I only do the top and the front? Yes, but I don't want it to look like that. I mean, hello, I'm about ready to get red to filth over here. So I just go through and I'll pick up a couple completely random sections and just curl those. I don't necessarily alternate around the head. I just make sure that wherever I'm going to put a backward facing curl that it'll look okay. You can stick to all front or all back if that's your preferred aesthetic. Some people only prefer curls that are away from the face. It really is all personal preference. You can go up, you can go down. I like to kind of throw in a couple of the frontward facing curls just because it adds a little bit more texture. A little bit more fun to the mix but it really is like I said this whole thing is all personal preference and what level of lazy are you I'm a huge level of lazy and I won't ever claim that I'm not when it comes to my hair oh girl and honestly other than that little guy in the back there I'm thinking this is good enough I quite love it I love the volume I love the swoop I have and again all those are little things that you kind of work out on your own and I do not shut this off yet because it is Murphy's Law anything that can go wrong with curls will go wrong so I always just kind of keep this right hot and ready to go in the event that this next step goes horribly wrong or another piece kind of uncurls itself which if you have my hair which is very inhospitable that is not uncommon so now when it comes to sprays I do have two favorites right here I have the way texture hairspray and I have the living proof full dry volume blast this is an instant volume styling finishing spray and this one again is just more of a texturizing spray I used to go in very heavily with a hairspray and try to get my hair to really stick and stay and do what I wanted it to do and then I realized my hair is like an uncooperative eight-year-old if you try to tell it to put its shoes on it ain't gonna happen it will do everything it will sit there it will kick it will scream it will count the dots on the ceiling it will not put its socks on it is just not worth it, it is not worth the hassle no thank you I'm slapping sandals on that kid and I'm calling it a day. That is how I feel about both of these sprays. They give me beautiful texture. They give me nice volume and they also do give me a little bit of hold. So I like to go in first with a little bit of the living proof and kind of hit this one, which is the more volumizing option, a little bit at the root. So I kind of lift up these little chunks in here and I just hit the root ever so lightly. I don't want a ton of product in there because again, more product will weigh my hair down. So I just go in, see what I'm talking about? This little chunk right here, I already been an asshole. That's why we don't unplug the flat iron. This guy right here, mm. I'm going to get you. But nonetheless, we go in, we hit the, the undersides, mainly on just the top section, but I will throw a little bit underneath of all the hair just to really volumize and support the upper layers. Go in with my fingers and do that classic little squish around, which gives the texture to the root just a little bit more volume. And just, oh, it looks so nice and voluminous. This is such a good, like amazing volume spray. The smell is very strong. I don't love that, but if you go in in small bursts, like I just did, like a little ch, -ch it is bearable. So keep that in mind. Now, for the rest of my hair and kind of an all over moment, I love the way texturizing hairspray, which I said, I love this. It does have a decent amount of hold to it, but more than anything, I love the way that it almost defines and like hugs my curls. It doesn't just make them like stiff and crunchy like a traditional hairspray does. It goes in and it just kind of like holds them. It like hugs them, if you will. It doesn't strap them down like a straight jacket. It just hugs them and says, I'm here for you all day long. And that's what I love about it. So I go in again, lighter with this and I, um, excuse me. Oh, hello. That was quite the blast, but I go in and this one has quite a big spray on it. So I just like to 
do a little bit of this, a little overview, if you will. Now this one, oh boy, does that smell very strong. I do not know why these both are so strong, but they are. This one, girl, she will choke you. <clears throat> so now at this point, it might seem like I'm a glutton for punishment, but I always look, and right here, I always have this one hair that always uncurls. Here she is, always being a little shit, and always uncurls. So I grab it with my fingers. And I don't know if I'm the only one that has like this one section that just will not have any of life, but I always take it, I grab it, I curl it, we call it a day. I kind of fold her back down. I don't get too specific with it. I don't go looking for problems, but that one I just always know is there to be just a little shit, so grab it, fix it, move on. But yeah, you guys, that is it. I just love the way that this whole thing comes together. Now, I do want you guys to tell me down in the comments, are there products, are there any type of hair care situations that I need to be looking at, that I need to be testing and delving into? Because I do really, really love getting to play around with my hair. And if you have a similar hair type to me, I would love to know what works for you because I'm gonna be checking it out. I wanna know what the deal is and what is out there that could also help to change and morph the way I do my hair. Now, I will be straight ass honest with you guys. All the products in today's video have like had the most whirlwind changing effect on my hair, the way I do it, the way I style it, and the way that it feels and lasts throughout the day. But if I can recommend one thing, it is this whey hair oil. This is so freaking amazing. I've seen everyone use it. If you have thicker, more voluminous hair, more dense hair, wire hair, like me, and you have thinner, more fine hair, like I have seen everyone use that hair oil and come out the other side and be like, damn, that is weightless, it is amazing, it is nourishing, and it just feels like nothing in your hair, but at the same time, your hair feels so soft and luxurious and like my hair feels bouncy and it's very very rare that I could put a hair oil in prior to this oil and still get that nice bouncy like voluminous effect because with my hair being so fine that doesn't happen so if I could recommend something it would be that now I will go ahead and leave all of these products listed down below for you guys and again I want to hear from you in the comments I want to know a what do you think did you like this video I know that this is super super random but I have had at this point so so many of you ask me I'm like y'all I have to tell you what the tea is now while you down there in that comment section please do me a favor scuttle on up to that description box and follow me on instagram and on twitter i am officially on the quest to be verified on instagram like it is going to happen i believe someone told me that you have to have 10,000 followers on instagram to be verified so this could take a minute but please go follow me on instagram help the cause i appreciate it and also if you have not while you're at it you can subscribe and turn on your notifications for this youtube channel because girl let me tell you what i put up new videos five days a week monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday we do a ton of new makeup old makeup favorites hate it's hair we do everything on this channel and it goes up bright and early between six and seven a.m my time here in northern michigan which as y'all know girl we do it early so definitely subscribe if you are into that and i think that that is it you guys thank you so so much for watching please do not forget to have a a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye hello what oh my god does anybody else ever have this happen where you just can't get the hair inside the freaking straightener hello oh yes look at that brow yes honey who are you okay cute do i talk to my brows yes i think the real question here is why don't you talk to yours let's talk about that should i have cleaned this out Ugh, maybe oh well I'm sorry. Who has seen this? It is amazing. This is the what is this? What is this called? I just bought it, guys. I don't know what things are called. I just know it's a Revlon fucking hairstyler thing.